Hi, it's Chester Tuckwell from Blue Peak and Computer Training. In this video, what we're going to do is find the position of the first numeric character in a text string. I've done a previous video if you're wondering what this is all about, position of first letter. That's a completely different story. I've done that in a different video, so you might want to check that out. But let's get started with our problem here. I'm going to start with the search function. Search allows you to find a character within a text string. So, for example, if I was looking for 8 in this text string, not worried about this third non mandatory argument. What it'll do is it returns 2, position 2 for 8. If I was looking for 5, it would return, as you'd expect, 3. There we are. Now, that's all well and good. But obviously, I don't want to just look for 8 and 5. I want to look for 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. All those characters. So what I could do is create an array of characters I want to search for. So normally search only search for one character. But let's put it in an array. Let's say 0, 1, 2, 3. Notice I'm separating the commas. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 close the curly brackets. So an array is enclosed within curly brackets. Now if I do uh, enter, returns 1. Not much use to us. What that's actually doing is saying, um, at the moment it's saying naught is the first thing we're looking for and that's in position 1 within our text string at the moment. If I change the naught to a, a 1, it return value because it's only actually at the moment looking for that character how we've got it set up at the moment but to show us how useful this is what I'm going to do is select the formula and do F9 on my keyboard now what it's doing is it's saying well zero is no longer in this text string so there's a value error but one is in position one 2 has not been found, 3 has not been found, 4 has not been found, but 5 is in position 3, 6 has not been found, 7 has not been found, but 8 is in position 2, and then 9 has not been found. So it has told me the position of each of those numbers in that array that I have stated. Control Z, just to come out of that, so uh, we can get back to our formula. So how is that useful to us? Well, think about it. If I could find the minimum position expressed in that little result of that array formula, um, then I would find the position of the first um, numeric character. So let's have a go. I can use the min function to do this. Min returns the smallest number, um, and in this case within this array. So let's try that. So it's returning value. Um, now, unfortunately, um, it's returning value because um, a value um, is considered a lower value than uh, the actual numeric value, the lowest numeric value. So I need to do something about that. I need to convert the errors into an empty text string, say. So what I can do is I can say within this formula, I'm going to use the if error function. Now, if error converts something that's causing potentially an error into a text string of your choice. So I'm going to say here, evaluate this. If it returns an error, instead of returning that error, comma, return this value if error, an empty text string. Okay, so let's see how that works. Now I'm going to have to do control shift enter here because I'm using an array formula. Control shift enter, you'll notice that puts the curly brackets on either side of my formula. Copy this down and has it worked. So first numeric character here is 1, also 1 there. First numeric character 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That's worked. 1 there. First numeric character is 5 there, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, that's correct. First numeric character is 1 there, so that seems to have worked. Okay, so what we've done is we've used the search function uh, with an array of numbers that they're searching for. 
we've converted the errors within that, where it hasn't found those numbers, to a text string so that we can use the minimum function to find the smallest position, the smallest numeric position uh, returned from this search function. Okay, that's Chester Tugwell at Blue Pecan Computer Training. Hopefully that's been helpful.